I'm from Hatteras Island. I don't know if there's anybody else in here from Hatteras Island, but I'm from Hatteras Island. And I drove here for this meeting today. And I want to look at every one of you people in the face. I'm a commercial fisherman. I'm a charter fisherman. I'm married to a third-generation commercial fisherman. My family owns Avon Seafood. And uh, we ship and we sell fish. And uh, this is something I'm adamant about. I love fishing. I love the industry. Marine fisheries, you're doing a fine job. I used to hate you guys. <laughs> I used to fight you to the nail, you know, but I, over the years, I've been doing this 20 years. I, I'm not old enough to be doing it longer, but I've been, I put in my time and uh, you guys are doing an awesome job and, you know, I hate filling out the fish reports and I hate having to write down where I was and what size net I used and everything else, but I do it because the science is where it's at. If you tell the truth, you're going to get a good science. That's just how this, this whole program works. You lie and you try to not tell the truth. It's going to hurt you. So we always tell the truth. We always try to do it right. Being on Hannah's Island, I have I have a, a firsthand uh, history with the Southern Environmental Law Center. We've been trying to get a bridge, and uh, we've been fighting for years. We've been driving over a bridge that's falling apart, 50 years old. It's been an ongoing battle. I feel in my heart that this is just the very beginning tiptoe of sticking their foot in the door to fisheries, to try to own everything we have, to shut us down on every corner, to put everything in as a nursery, and to be able to stop us from everything we want to do as citizens, as fishermen, as residents. This is the way they're going to get their foot in the door. And, and all y'all I'm looking at you, I'm telling you right now, it's going to come. It's the starting of the ban of the nets and the, and the trawlers. And the next thing you know, you ain't going to be able to, to fix the bulkhead on your sound front property because it's a nursery. This is just the way it's going to begin, and, and it, it, I see it coming. Uh, we've been dealing with it for a long time down there, if y'all read the papers and uh, watch what's going on. And this area they want to cover and make into the nursery, that's everywhere around me. That's everything I got. I take charters out uh, all summer long. I have three boats that I run charters on. I have other women that run boats for me. We do educational uh, uh, things with the kids. We uh, you know, take them to little, little nursery sections and let them see the fish and the shrimp, and we get uh, starfish and seahorses. And there's so much life in Harris. I'm telling you what, we got some nice trout. We got the biggest spot and croakers we have seen in years. I've been eating them on my table. I'm telling you, they're there. I don't know where everybody else is, but Harris got some good fishing down there. But this this ban is just the beginning of the end for all of us. And we've worked too hard. We've come too far. We've done too much. That's your time. Thank, Thank you. you.